Hey guys, it's Robsy, back with PayPal as Humans. Welcome to episode 14 of this free not for course. This is our first episode for the advanced level. Customizing the page templates for every notebook you create can be exhausting. That is why it is better to create new notebooks in fewer steps. On the home page, go to the plus icon. and tap Quick Create to start taking notes. You can set the page template for this quick notebook by going to the settings icon on the home page next to your Quick Create. When you are done customizing your quick notebooks, tap done to save those changes. Now, each time you create a new notebook, it will have these settings. Sometimes none of the available page options work for you. So you prefer using custom templates that you would have bought somewhere else or that you've made yourself. You can add those to Noteful by going to the app icon, then going to notebook templates, then go to the saved part of your templates. This is where you can save all custom templates in the app. These templates can be single pages that can either be images or PDFs or larger documents like our digital notebooks that we already have saved in this section. To add a new template, go to the plus icon, then import file to import a file from Apple Files. Select the templates you want, so you can add a lot of templates at once, then open them. So this window with your custom templates is accessible from all the customization routes in the app. So you can access it while you're creating a new notebook. You can also access this for your quick notes. So that your quick notes can also use a custom template. Long pressing a custom template gives you options to rename, or delete it. Categories lets you organize your templates into categories. You can start by renaming the default category that the app automatically creates. Or you can just start by creating a new category by going to add. Name the new category and create to save it. Once you've created a new category, you can import files into it or drag the ones that are in other categories into this new category.
the three dots icon under your categories for each category gives you options to rename or delete it and the three bar icon rearranges your categories Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next episode.